search this nigga up. Pro Jared wife. All right, let, let me just look that up. Before we look at Keemstar, or I'll just look at the drama. I never really watched Pro Jared. Me I never really watched too much of Pro Jared back in the day, but the fall of Pro Jared, a predatory, what? How an elf and a group of gamers exposed a pred, what? A predatory YouTuber, husband obsessed with soliciting nudes. This can't be, this can't be the right universe. Some, did somebody, did somebody switch around something? Because I thought, isn't Pro Jared loved? People, people have been sucking this dude's ass for years. And he makes really good quality videos. I mean, even though I didn't watch him regularly, I, I always managed to see one or two uploads of him. And didn't he have an upload where he talked with Reggie at one point? Or maybe that's, maybe I'm mistaking that with um, Matt Pat. This is crazy. Pro Jared, a gamer with, uh, was accused by his elf cosplaying wife of having an affair. Then more disturbing allegations came in. So, okay, this is way worse than Dr. Disrespect, my nigga. Watch the Memeology 101 video on it. This is crazy. No, it's what he did. Yeah, he... Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, okay, yeah, he was with um, Reggie in a video before at one point, I remember. And he just lost it all like that. It's all gone. From what these allegations are sounding like, this doesn't really seem like something that he'll be able to come back from. This sounds like something on some R. Kelly type shit. Do you think personally it, Pro Jared's going to be able to come back from this shit? Hentai Haven is back. Is it actually back, like, thanks to that collab thing that they did with Faku? Bro. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of videos to watch about it, but what we're going to do, I'm going to read about it first, man. I don't want to just watch videos. I mean, you can always do that. Let me just see here. It was Wednesday nights. Damn, they, oh, shit. <laughs> they started it off like a storybook. They, they, they fucking opened the book on this nigga. That's how you know they're setting up for something big. They opened it up like a book. They said, it was a dark and stormy Wednesday. They like a fuck, Jerry, they got you all fucked up out here. Hell no, he ended his own career. He can't come back. Oh, and Scott the Waz had enough of Reddit raids with his name. Oh, really? Did the nigga make a video about it? Oh, man. Here we go. It was a Wednesday night. YouTuber Pro Jared Kanakabaker um, emerged from his fringe corner of the internet with a viral divorce announcement. Wow. So he announced a divorce. The lengthy post stayed till the morning until the, uh, his newly ex wife public reaction. Uh, she quickly undermined it his attempts to control the divorce narrative. So he was trying to come out with the divorce thing first. And then she said, oh, hell no, nigga. I got something else to add in there. I got my own little sauce packet. Damn. He was booted. He was booted from normal boots. Normal boots gave this nigga the boot. Damn. Damn. You look skinny. You on a diet or now nah, when you're in that mental ward, you can't eat as much as you want to, man. They control your whole fucking diet. So now that I'm out of that bitch and I'm certified good, they got to fucking I got to fucking get back into eating what I normally would. Um, quickly undermined his attempts to control it and began. But she had no idea what he was saying about marriage on social media. He blocked her before announcing the split. Really? He blocked her? I'm honestly shocked that he posted this today because it's so blatantly selfish. This isn't a mutual statement in any way. Wow. He dipped into the first person plural throughout the statement saying we I've been living in a private hell for the last year, wondering if I'm going crazy because the person that I love told me the obvious that the obvious wasn't true, that I'm paranoid and wrong and that I'm not holding my tongue for his benefit anymore. Wow. How you blocked your wife on Twitter? <laughs> How you block your wife on, he divorced his, he divorced his wife, he announced the shit and then blocked his wife on Twitter. Yes, you block people too, you fool. Yeah, but the people that I blocked, they were people that only were pretending to be friends, man. Everybody mad about Sky Williams and shit, man. Sky Williams, I never considered a friend, bro. Um, I mean, like, he, dude, me and Sky Williams are not friends. We were, like, at most associates, but not friends. Anyways, um, 
She went on to allege that her ex had been soliciting nudes from his fans for years. Pro Jared trying to get nudes from little fans watching his shit as a Tumblr joke. Then it spiraled into its own Tumblr just to, for nudes. Wow! He had, a, he had a Tumblr page that was made just for nudes? Damn. Everybody that's surprised with the Sky Williams statement. I mean, dude, that's the facts. What what else do you want me to say? I never considered Sky Williams a friend, which is why when he started talking down to me on that bullshit, I just blocked him because it's like, dude, I no, I don't care how much you try to play up shit for fucking Twitter. I don't care how much you try to go on there and act a fool, how you try to act up and motherfucking make it seem like you're no, we're, we were, we're not close like that. I don't know you like that, son, like back up. Sorry, that's just the way it is, man. I never got a chance to express that because everybody was all over my ass for shitting on him in the first place. But nah, man. I mean, look, he was it's not like I hated the guy, but I don't he's not a friend of mine. He wasn't a friend. He was an acquaintance. An acquaintance at maximum. Somebody who I just knew through like he like at one point back in 2015 because of like the Iwata thing, he flew me out. But the thing is, he didn't, we never talked. We never, we never did anything. He flew a bunch of people out. Like it was never any, not that I don't appreciate what he did, but dude is, dude is way out of his lane. He's a fake friend. And you can tell that he kind of fakes that shit because Sky goes to every other big profile that's on Twitter. And he just goes and tries to ride their coattail and try to suck dick and try to make it seem like he's all about, about them. Like he, he jumps. He, don't you guys see it yourself? Sky Williams motherfucking, he's a, he's a whore for attention. He's a, he's a, he's a fucking, he, he, it's obvious. And everybody knows it. Everybody who's close to me. That's actually a friend of mine who I won't even name knows that shit. So get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, I'm not dealing with bullshit anymore. I'm not dealing with dumb shit anymore, man. I'm telling niggas the fucking facts, man. Shut the fuck up. Talk about your crush on Pokey. Well, I kind of scared her away, so I don't think she. I, I will. I don't think she wants to fuck with me anymore. But um, yeah, I still got a crush on her, of course. Um, anyways, let me let me continue reading this thing because this is already crazy. It kept escalating secretly. So this is crazy. He had a fetish for getting nudes from fans. He started a snap. He started a Snapchat for getting nudes from fans without telling me. How is she okay with all of this this whole time leading up? So she knew actively that Pro Jared was using these social media tools to get nudes and and didn't say anything about it. What the fuck? Etika, there's some fake fans here. They got the link from Reddit. Take it down. Uh, I mean, I really don't give a fuck. In response to, I mean, eventually they're going to be able to go away anyway. I'm probably going to have to make a new OnlyFans and then have that one be the one where niggas, you know, come through or whatever. In response to O'Farrell's thread, I, I knew I was 16. What? Sent pics with the dick clearly visible. We didn't speak every day, but most. I sent him actual real nudes. This is crazy. This is some R. Kelly. This is this is some trapped in the closet type shit. My friend Chai just came through. Wow. It was a joke at first, and then it quickly escalated. His fan base consists large of mostly middle schoolers and high schoolers at the time. An open invitation to send nudes is oddly predatory and just kind of messed up. Yeah, it is. Wow. Dude. All right, so Alpha, I mean, Alpha, uh, Pro Jared, these motherfuckers, I'm getting these names mixed the fuck up. Dude, you can't really be charging twenty dollars a month for streams. Just for the ones on, um, just for the ones on here. I'll still be doing my regular streams, but I'm gonna be having my small, little, private ones where you know not that many niggas are. For here, that's all. I'm just tired. Uh, Bren, a Twitter user who found Jared's NSA flip W for Twitter, found told the beast that the blog consisted of. Uh, hmm. Change it to T O five. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So niggas got in. It was. Oh, look at that. Oh, we, motherfuckers, niggas, niggas is a. This is. Yeah, man. I'm still doing regular streams, man. Everybody acting like regular streams are going away. No, of course not, nigga. I'm I'm still doing regulars. I'm just this is just a test. Right now, I'm not doing. I'm not like on some shit right now. I'm just literally trying to read up on this. This is a big ass article. How much shit did this nigga do? How how much shit did this nigga? Okay, we gotta watch a video. We gotta watch a video. I did. I I read as much as I can. Keemstar, take it away, please. Take this shit away, please. Do you shave your pubes or nah? Nah, nah. <laughs> only, only when necessary. All right, let me see here. Love you, fam. No homo, man. In in these kinds of streams, I demand the homo. Uh, let me play a little bit of music. I forgot to play some. Hey, hey, hey. I love this shit. All right, where is it at? Pro Jared's wife. Oh man, here we go. That article had way too much content for me to motherfucking sit through. I didn't. I, I didn't think it would be that much. I thought it was just gonna be a little bit. All right, let's see. Let's see. He didn't even wait for the thing to finish. He just went straight for it. Into the news. Trisha Paytas and H3H3 are going to war. And it's oh, getting God. Ready. But before we get into that story, we got to tell you about this epic story that happened last night. Oh, my God. It's so good. They Let's can make a movie out of this. It all started with this goofy-looking YouTuber known as... Pro Jared. Pro Jared is a YouTuber with over a million subscribers that like covers like gaming stuff. Now that okay, See, well, now that we know the context of like what's going on with this dude, his face looks OD creepy to me, man. Knowing what the fuck he was doing, like god damn. Jared is married to that. Wow. Why would what what for him? However, there is trouble in paradise because Jarrett and his wife Heidi made the trending page yesterday. And let me tell you how this all went down. Pro Jarrett announced on Twitter yesterday that him and Heidi were getting a divorce. He put out a statement and this is what the statement said. My wife Heidi and I have filed for divorce. I know this may come to a surprise and upsetting for many of you, but know that we do this, that we may both seek happiness for ourselves. During this time, you may see a lot of rumors, speculation, and gossip going around. I ask that you make your own observations and come to your own conclusions. Rumors, really? He goes on to say this. I will add that this decision was reached after extensive individual Bro. therapy on my part and couples therapy. And together. she knew and about this said, shit. This is all she I knew plan the nudes were being shared. Regarding this matter, Heidi's privacy and mental well being and discretion has always been and will remain my highest priority throughout this time. Wait a minute, time out. So he's saying there might be rumors. And he's saying, oh, yeah, and, and my wife that I'm divorcing, mental health problems, just so you know. So if there's any rumors, she's crazy. That's what, that's basically what this statement says. Uh -huh. It is my hope that we can both exit this marriage with style and grace. I plan on continuing to do everything I can on my part to make this happen. Thank you for your understanding and patience, kindness, and respect for our privacy. That's right, guys. Pro Jarrett wants you to respect his privacy but he just told the world that, you know, his wife, she's crazy. <laughs> she's got something going on and she might be spreading some rumors, but respect our privacy. Little off with that one, but you know what? There was some support. In fact, after Pro Jarrett put out this statement, another influencer girl named Holly responded by saying, I'm so sorry this you're is going so... through this. I'm here for you. There's so it's many easy. layers to this. All right, let's give it up to Holly. It's, it's like an Holly's onion. such a good friend looking out for him in his time of need. But that's when, okay, that's when we finally heard from the crazy wife of Pro Jarrett. That's right, Heidi, the... okay? She 
said this on Twitter. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? No. Here we go. Recently, I learned that my husband, Pro Jarrett, has been banging Holly Conrad behind my back for months. I had no idea what announcement he just made because he blocked me. Oh, oh so this god. is oh. oh my god the the girl that was saying hey if you need any help i'm here for you is the girl that he was cheating on his wife with but on top of that not only did he divorce his wife on twitter he blocked his wife on twitter before he divorced Team <laughs> starts an asshole <laughs> this thing is a fucking asshole when this why do you okay. laugh like that, bro? They started trending. That's right. Pro Jarrett started trending in the United States, and so did his wife, Heidi. Now, obviously, people started Fuck, attacking son. the alleged side hoe known as Holly Conrad. Holly Conrad responded by saying this. I understand some poop is going down on the internet. If you want to believe a hyperbolic statement from someone you don't know on the internet with hey, no you previous Man. background information, this, this is just a demonize strangers. So be it. This is not anyone's business, but theirs. If it's worth anything, y'all know me. I would never hurt anyone. And I only want the best and happiness yeah, he for those around me. If you follow me for a long time, you know that gonna get off Twitter for a while. Hmm. That statement from the alleged side hoe. Makes it sound like, you know, she didn't do anything wrong. She wasn't messing around with Pro Jarrett. Hmm. The wife responded. Do we didn't even get to the fucking. We didn't even get to the. And insecure and all the nudes you Where's sent my the... husband. I think it would help your chronic self esteem issues if you started effing men that were already married. There's proof. Oh my god, there's proof. There's proof. There's proof. But then, ladies and gentlemen, this after dude. all this came out, yes, they're already trending, but Jared, pro Jared, pro cheater, okay, <laughs> starts trending number one. He said pro he cheater. He isn't the biggest YouTuber. A million subs. What is a million subs? Everybody has a million subs. He isn't the biggest name out there. Why is he trending? Why is this getting so big? Because of the fucking. Trending number one. Because of the nudes. States. Why? Because What's of the pedal because of the pedal shit. What's happening is this. He wasn't just cheating on his wife with the alleged side hoe. Oh my it god. It was bro. fans. It was it was not just like ten. It wasn't just twenty. It was like fifty, Fucking like every Christ. single night. Pro Jared. So this dude was had an obsession. Dudes to oh! Oh! Fucking oh! And they weren't all the same. It's not like the same nude was being posted all over Twitter. No, He's taking like mad different conversations nudes. And conversations. Pro Jared just kept telling all these different girls that him and his wife were in an open relationship. And he was sending them the banana pics. The banana pics, people. The I literally lost count on how many different girls came forward with screenshots of their conversations with Pro Jared. The dog gets even worse because then it starts to get like, um, what do you say? Uh, criminal, a transgender known as Chai basically tweeted out that, uh, yeah, he was 16. I think he's a, he trying to be a sheep. I don't, I don't know, but he, she was 16 when pro Jarrett tried to make the moves on him and was sending him. Wow. So he, pictures. he's going for it. He doesn't care. Claiming they were he, 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 I mean, this if it's got a like pulse, so he's going for it. Control. Pro Jarrett's career is finished. Now, just so everyone's clear, there's, yeah, on the there's same nothing page. that can be I done. I live here. in Buffalo, New York, and it's 11:30 in the morning as I'm filming this because I I pulled a whole nighter to get this content out to you because I actually care about you. But anyhow, my point is this: it's been about 10 hours since this all went down on Twitter. And pro Someone's Jared saying people pay for this. Hey, it's a test. It's a test, okay? Thousand subscribers. Now listen, this story is far from over because with all these people coming out, there's just going to be so much more dirt on this story. This is going to be in the next drum alert, guaranteed. All right, so, so I probably got to make here, another OnlyFans. Because on this story and every other story going on in the community, make sure you take the time to subscribe to this channel right now with those notifications on. Because as soon as I get the scoop, I'm going to keep you in, in the loop. loop. Also Fuck in no. the news. All right, well... Yeah, thank you for taking me through that fucking emotional roller coaster. I
so pro jared that's basically it the nigga's done um how how do you even begin to apologize for something like this on twitter man i mean he has a long road ahead of him i'll tell you that much man keep keep this only fans cuz nah i gotta probably this is why i was also doing a test too because i wanted to see how easy it would be to for this one to leak you know and uh yeah it, it, it leaked pretty easy because the thing is i let people 